It's quite rare these days, but there are some women who are so in awe of their man that they are completely ready and willing to submit to him at any moment. Now, this video ain't gonna be politically correct. What makes a woman submit is not something that society will ever tell you. Why? Because modern media and feminism both have evil agendas. They want women to rise up and men to submit. They say they want equality, but what they're really aiming at is dominance. However, I do believe that women and men are beginning to wake up. I do believe that women are beginning to realize how much they desire to submit to a man. And men are realizing how much they desire to lead a woman. However, most men these days are not equipped to do so. So today I'm going to be discussing four dark ways to make a woman more submissive to you. Number one, make her believe that you have options. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a right way of doing this, and then there's a completely wrong way of doing this. Now, I'm not saying to go down the route that most men go down, which is, oh yeah, babe, you know, uh, there's this girl at work today, and she uh, she tried giving me her number, indicating that, yeah, he could have got her if he wanted, but instead he, uh, he turned down his options. And now he's expecting to get like some brownie points or something, lame. Another example that most men do is they literally engage with other attractive women on a daily basis. To kind of show, you know, like if they really wanted to, they could easily leave their current girl for a new one. Indirectly threatening her to stay on her best behavior or else. This right here, my brother, this is complete weasel-like behavior. Look, I'm not saying to exercise your options. What I am saying is to be so devoted and so invested in your own girl that she knows deep down any woman would be lucky to have you as their man. See the difference? The weasel guy likes to brag to his girl that he has options, while the king has options, but likes to brag about how much he adores his girl. I remember Elliot Hulse had some great advice for men in relationships. He said, make yourself attractive to other women. Now right away, I know that sounds like a little off kilter, a little weird, but I understand what he's saying. Listen, for some reason, women always love the man that other women love. It is what it is. <laughs> and so imagine if you were not attractive to other women. Imagine that. I just want you to sit and think for a second. What would your girl think about you? Now imagine if you were attractive to other women. Imagine if other girls were so jealous of your girl because of all the love, admiration, and affection that you shower down upon her. Imagine how that would make your girl feel, knowing that you are so kingly that even other women desire and want you. How do you think that would make your girl start to act towards you? Listen, my brother, when your girl knows that other women want you, she's gonna begin to cling a little more to you. She's going to become a little more submissive. Her desire for you is going to skyrocket. This right here, this is the byproduct of being a king to your queen. Think about if the roles were reversed. Have you ever had a good looking guy who just couldn't keep his eyes Eyes off your girl. What'd you do? Be honest. What'd you do? If I were to make a bet, you'd probably hold your girl in. Maybe put your arm around her, just kind of indicating that, nah, bro, she's mine. This is my property, right? So now imagine another girl checking you out. Not you checking out another girl, but her checking you out. Maybe she gives you a little smile or she can't take her eyes off of you. Now imagine your girl witnessing this. I can guarantee you 100% that your girl is going to start pulling you in a little closer. Number two, have an open attitude. Don't be stingy, especially with your your money. Uh, it was Robert Greene who said, tightness is anti-seductive, meaning the man who's always tight with his money is the guy who has little guy energy. Quick story, growing up every summer, I used to work with my dad. He was a carpet specialist, carpet cleaner. And um, I would work with him while my friends were out enjoying their three month vacations. I was working and I enjoyed it. I mean, I got paid good money. I got to spend all day with my pops every day. So it was a good little trade off, right? Good little deal. And uh, I remember always being a penny pincher. I always thought to myself, you know, I work so so hard, why would I take that money and just carelessly spend it on stuff? And rather than thinking, oh, maybe I should take this money and invest it, I always just thought to myself, oh, uh, I should just take this money and save it. So what did I do? I saved and I saved and I saved year after year after year. And now fast forward 15, 16 years later, this same scarcity mindset, it bled into my relationship with Brie. And even to this day, I struggle with it. And why is this trait so bad? Well, going back to my story now, not long ago, Brie, she got fed up with me always saying things like, oh, you know, babe, we need to, um, you know, that, that's too much money. We need to save right now. We can't do this. We can't do that. We can't go here. We can't go there. We got, we got to save. 
Save, 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 save. Finally, she just spoke up and said, dude, loosen up. She told me, I remember she said, that is so unattractive when I do that. And so, hey, look, my brother, women are not attracted to dudes who are always all uptight and, uh, you know, don't want to spend any money. You got to remember, at the end of the day, it's simple. Girls, they just want to have fun. Let me ask you a quick question. When you think of, like, the top tier, top 1% alpha male successful men, when you see them, when you visualize them, do you think they're sitting there going, oh, man, I uh, we gotta save, right? Do you think do you think they're always like worried about the price of things? Of course not. Now look, of course, I'm not saying to spend all your money on your girl, right? You gotta be smart. There is a balance, you know, you don't wanna be stupid, but at the same time, you also don't wanna be stingy. For example, hey, take one day out of the week and show your girl a good time. Open up that wallet and just splurge a little bit. Take her to a nice restaurant, hit up a Starbucks, uh, take her out to the movies, get her that big old popcorn with a large drink. Look, bro, you know me. You know I'm a pretty focused, straight and narrow type of guy. I'm always on a diet, always watching my macros, always working out, always working on my business, reinvesting my money. And usually anything outside of that or that detours me off that path usually gets sidelined. Whenever I'm being too tight and stingy, my wife, she says it every time. She says, hey, just stop and let loose. Have a little bun, she says. And when I do, bro, she, <laughs> she goes bananas, let me tell you. And that love making that we make later that night is... It's second to none. Now, before I continue this video, I wanted to share with you guys, just for like 30 seconds, a quick surprise. I actually, I think I'm the first person <laughs> to reveal this, which is pretty cool. Today's sponsor, Manscaped, just launched the new Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. It's available right now, and today you can get 20% off plus free shipping down in the description. It's got some really nice upgrades, and the first thing you're gonna notice right off the bat is just how much more powerful it is than all the previous versions. This thing's intense. Also, right here, we got a much larger LED light with the dual temperature feature. So no matter if you're white, black, brown, whatever, it accommodates for your specific skin tone. It's got a completely upgraded trimmer blade and an interchangeable foil blade for enhanced performance. I love this addition. It glides gently over your skin, capturing even the finest hairs so you don't have to keep going back over the areas countless amounts of times, leaving you with a super sleek and bare finish. It's really like getting your hands on two trimmers but for the price of one. And of course, it's still got that waterproof and skin safe technology. Again, be sure to click that link down below that I have for you and get 20% off plus free shipping right now. All right, now moving on to number three, treat her like she is weaker than you. Now, if you want to know the quickest way to get canceled, repeat what I just said right there. I can hear all the modern day feminists coming out right now and being like, what? We're not weaker. Well, you're not stronger. Even the Bible says women are the weaker vessel, my bro. <laughs> and guess what? We love it. Why? Because it's our innate desire to take care of and tender to those who need us. And if we're always competing for the throne, if we're always worried about having to be equals, then you know how that makes us feel as men? It makes us feel like we're not even needed anymore. And think about this, bro. Like, what if I treated my wife like my bro? What if I treated her like my best, my best dude, and um, I gave her nuggies and, you know, just acted like she's my full-on just boy? I would lose that gentleness. I would lose that warmth and that king-like energy that she so craves. But hey, look, at the same time, don't get it twisted. I'm not saying that us men, that we love weak women. I'm saying that we love when a woman can admit that she needs our strength. And hey, look, listen, a woman who is truly feminine and that is on the right path, she's going to want to feel weaker than you. That's just going to be in her. She's, she's going to want to feel like that. She'll even pretend that she's weaker than you. Even, like, even if she's not, she'll still pretend that she is because she wants to feel that. For example, I have a friend and <laughs> his girl is taller than him. And in every single photo, when they go in to, you know, take a photo, she like hunches over underneath his arm and like gets all like small because that's how women are designed, bro. That is integrated within them to want to look up to their man. By the way, just quick note, quick little extra tip here. If you are dating or talking to a girl that gets threatened or offended every time you mention something about you being bigger, stronger, faster, whatever, like that right there, that is a huge red flag. And, and your life is going to suck, promise you. And hey, you might be lying to yourself, trying to make yourself think things like, oh, you know, it's no big deal. You may be trying to convince yourself that you love her even when she's crap crazy, right? Hey, you may even be telling yourself things like, oh, you know, it's 2023, you know? Gender roles are outdated, right? We're we're all equals. <laughs> that sounds like you. One day you're gonna look back at this video and be like, ah, Trey was right. 
Listen, bro, I'm not, I'm not here to stop you, but I'm, I'm here to warn you. And the last one, number four, we got romance. Whoa, I haven't heard of that one in a long time. Now, I call this a dark trait simply just because it's been hidden away in the shadows for way too long. Men in 2023 have become as romantic as a doorknob. It's wild, bro. Modern dating is completely crooked. You got the red pill community shaming women for sleeping around, yet consider it a big fat whopping L if they don't get in her pants by the end of the first date. Culture, on the other hand, is primarily focused on sex as well. They encourage all of us young people to just sleep around, have lots of lovers. Disgusting. So hey, how do you as a man approach this complex world of dating? Easy peasy. Take it back to the days of old. Instead of trying to seduce her, romance her. Instead of trying to sleep with her on the first date, approach her father first and ask if you can even get a date. How about that? Men don't even have the respect. They don't even have the honor or integrity to ask for the dad's permission. So hey, in my personal opinion right there, that's 101. Before you start dating a girl, you need to ask for permission from her father first. You could say something as simple as, hey, uh, you know what, I I'm a bit old fashioned and uh, hey, I would love to have a conversation with your father first before we begin to date, is that cool? See man, like too many of us men, we're just so focused on the art of seduction and we need to get back to the art of romance. What are some ways to romance a woman? Great question. I wrote down uh, just a few things off the top of my head right here. We got number one, take her out for lunch and ask her what her favorite candy slash snacks are. Once you've made a mental note, plan a picnic with her and make sure to get everything that she mentioned. Number two, leave her a short, sweet note lying around. Maybe you could write something like, hey, can't stop thinking about you. Number three, send her a song that reminds you of her. Number four, plan a date night, but be mysterious about it. Tell her to wear something nice, but that's it. No more context. And number five, of course, as the relationship progresses, then you can be a little more risque. Is that how you say it? As long as it doesn't lead to sin. But like, for instance, you could gr grab your phone and uh, text her and be like, hey, uh, can't wait to see those big old beautiful nipples send oh crap i meant to say dimples <laughs> Stupid autocorrect. <laughs> and so to kind of tie things up here, you know, I, I was in my community the other day and was kind of sharing something similar to this. And one of the guys said like something like, are you serious? Like approach and ask for her father's permission in 2023? Are you kidding me? And then he went on to say, everyone's gonna see that as weird and cringe. My brother, look, yeah, people might see that as weird and cringe, but guess what? This is how us men, this is how we did things for thousands and thousands of years. Why do you think that like just all of a sudden within just like the last like five to ten years like it's just not gonna work no more this right here this is what we did this is what we did as men we patiently waited for a good girl and when the time came we took the opportunity to prove ourselves with good old og romance and if the girl you're talking to calls you cringe and leaves you good you dodged a bullet look bro bad women they want you to sleep with them why because then they got you hooked a good woman on the other hand yeah she'll still desire to sleep with you she'll still want to do that but she'll preserve her purity instead why three reasons number one she holds herself to a higher standard number two she wants to see your true intentions and number three she acknowledges that she is first a child of God's and her body is his property before it is yours this right here this is the virtuous woman that you were looking for and yes she's extremely rare but she's out there and check this out once you have both proven yourselves worthy and you make a solemn vow before God to always love one another, okay, then you take it to the bedroom and you let the floodgates of heaven unleash. So, hey, crush the modern concepts of dating and let's get back to tradition. Oh, but Dre, there's no uh, traditional girls left. My brother, when you focus on tradition, the traditional women will then start to reveal themselves. So, hey, follow God, stay on your path and be patient and wait for the right girl. This pathway right here has never failed us, man. Now, hey, look, this video right here, this is just scratching the surface. I've created a six hour masterclass on how to become your most masculine, most attractive self. And actually, as I speak right now, there's hundreds of men that are taking the class and we would love for you to join by just clicking the link down below. And if you sign up right now, you also get a free subscription to Masculinity Plus which are videos that I send out to you monthly. And everything about those videos is about masculinity as well and how to weaponize yourself as a man. So again, you can access all that right now. Just click the link that I have for you down below. And hey, if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a nice big thumbs up. Hit the notifications button to be informed when I drop a new one. And check out this video right here. It's a powerful one. Catch you soon. Peace always.